get a dictionary. All right, yes, so guys, I am doing a video of dumb things we did as kids brought back by popular demand. A lot of y'all wanted me to do this, but before I do, let's cut to the chase here. This video is sponsored yet again by All Black, all right? And as you guys know, I told you about All Black before and I wanna tell y'all again. If you didn't know, All Black is home to the first and largest streaming service dedicated to black TV and film. Their library features a rapidly evolving slate of popular original series, independent and studio feature films, classic and recent network TV shows, romantic comedies and drama, docu-series, stage plays, international films, and more. Oh, y'all, did y'all see that spit? <laughs> So clearly I watched a few shows and movies on there like Karen, Staycation, Maya and Her Lover, but now I think I want to get into one of the all black originals like Send Help Season 1. Now this one is about a young first generation Haitian American struggling to overcome the challenges of making it in Hollywood while coming to terms with a recent family tragedy. I think that is going to be interesting y'all. I do want to get into more stuff now and you'll know, broaden my range, but as you guys know that all black is $5.99 a month or $59.99 a year. Not to mention it is ad-free and affordable and you get access to thousands of hours of binge-worthy content where there's always something new to watch. And if that's not convincing enough for you guys, you can try all black free for 30 days by going to allblack.tv forward slash Alonzo. That is A-L-L-B-L-K dot TV forward slash Alonzo. Enter my code Alonzo, okay? I put the link in the description box for more information. So let's get to these dumb things we did as kids. So this girl, um, mother of doggons or doggons from Twitter said, what's the dumbest shit you ever did as a kid? My shining moment was when I was like, Four, I put floaties on my feet and jumped into a pool thinking I'd walk on water. I almost drowned, all right? So don't be afraid to tell me what's the dumbest thing you did as a kid. As you guys know, I've done like four or five of these and I took your submissions from part two, part three, part four. I don't even know which one I'm on, to be honest. Someone made fun of me crying, so I went home and put L'Oreal No Tear Shampoo in my eyes. Went skiing in Colorado with my family when I was like 11. My brother kept falling and taking forever so I decided to go ahead without waiting on them at 11 years old does isn't there like a minimum age to even ski took a wrong turn went down a diamond slope and ended up in a different town on another side of the mountain best vacay ever how did they even find you because I remember skiing and I don't even know if it was a diamond slope but I know that I fell and tumbled like a tumbleweed down <laughs> I don't even know how I got found or rescued, to be honest. I moved the hands on the clock forward so Sesame Street would start sooner. That's not dumb. That's actually the cutest shit I've ever read. When I was four, a skunk was on my porch. I thought it was a cat opened up the door and the thing actually came in. My mom freaked and so did the skunk spraying everywhere, including both of us. Yeah, that was fun. I wasn't old enough to bake cookies, so I chew up bread form it into a cookie, put PB and sprinkles on top, and sell them to my friends for a quarter. She, she chewed it up. I finally told one of them the recipe and felt so bad, I gave her a plate full for free. She ate them anyway. Yo, the, the, the recipe by, the, so her recipe was chewed up bread. <laughs> Form, she chewed up the bread, formed it into a cookie, and put peanut butter and sprinkles on them, and her friend still ate that shit? When I was three, I mashed an entire stick of butter on the dining room table in the middle of the night and woke my parents up by whispering, the butter is mashed in their ear. Crowning achievement was when when I was seven, I stuck a pair of scissor blades into a socket in my classroom and sent the entire street into blackout. When I was five, I stuck beads up my nose to be like, I don't know why I was thinking of anal beads. Do not ask me how old I was when I discovered what they were. I stuck beads up my nose to be like the big kids who had piercings which had to be surgically removed. A week later, pierced my nose with a staple gun. <laughs> Surgery. Use permanent markers to cover myself in tattoos to go with my super cool pierced nose. What were you watching as a kid? Good God, I don't know how old they were, but was that MTV or something? Or 
MTV2? Do they even still have MTV2? When I was eight, I tried to reheat a Sonic Grilled Cheese Deluxe in the microwave. Okay, I read this one before. I read this about two years ago. For those of you who don't know, Sonic wraps their food in thin wax lined foil paper. I watched my grilled cheese combust for about eight seconds before I calmly told an adult, hey, the microwave blew up. When I was like six, my mom was giving me a bath and she had to leave the room for a second. So she told me not to leave the bath under any circumstances. So I did it. Not even when I farted and a turd came out. So you shed it. And it floated around me with, oh, and it floated around with me in the tub. Y'all, if I can see rats. Other tweet. Oh, I'm my bad. I'm that ADHD. I thought a rat took a turn in the back. But y'all, if this, if I can edit stuff, I'm telling you the truth. The image, the animated things I can come up with with a rat. Mm -hmm. Not a rat. Oh, why am I still on the rat? With the kid accidentally shatting in the bathtub and a turd going around. Y'all can picture it right now. I found a dead bird during recess and kept it in my pocket for the entire day of school, thinking I could take it home and have a new pet. <laughs> Mom, was it dead? Oh, it was dead. My mom, a new pet. People, people throw away their goldfish when that thing stopped blinking for more than two seconds. My mom was doing my laundry that day and emptied out my pockets and screamed when she felt a miniature beat. When I was in preschool, I took off my clothes for no reason. Literally just got naked in the hallway and they called my parents who then had to sit and talk to me about why we don't take off our clothes in school. I know I said this before, but when I was a kid, you can ask my dad. I'm telling you, I would call around, but I'm telling y'all, they told me all the times I would go around the neighborhood naked, just straight, bare ass naked in the neighborhood, and a neighbor <laughs> would carry me like a dead bird and let my parents know, hey, <laughs> He's here. I wish I could call my dad right now and ask them what their reaction was because I know it happened more than a handful of times. I could just, I could just hear my neighbor's voice in the head saying, yeah, here you go. He's, he did it again, y'all. I locked myself in a dryer because I wanted to see if it would rock back and forth. But when I got in, it didn't move. So I thought I had to close the door and I did. And I couldn't get out. Poor. Poor Miss Leland, probably still tweeting from the dryer. There has to be a part two of this tweet letting us know how they got out because this one time I did put myself in the dryer. I'm gonna keep the reason why just to myself, but if you're a dude, you would know, okay? True man and I put grocery bags. Now, true man didn't wanna be up in this. True man was probably on his couch just minding their business. Like, how now, how did I get in this? We put grocery bags on our arms and tried to parachute off the second story roof of our house. Got caught by the neighbor before we jumped. <laughs> We were four and five. This story took a turn. I thought they were gonna stay the neighbor. <laughs> the neighbor saw two lifeless bodies on the yard. My mind ain't right, y'all, because I just imagine like, oh, how are they lifeless <laughs> when they when when homegirl tweeting about it right now. Some neighbors are good. Some neighbors will look out their window in any given second and make sure you're okay, and some others are nosy. Call them out, sis. I was sat on the grass and started playing with some stones. They were super soft, and I spent ages pulling them apart and squishing them. It was rabbit droppings. <laughs> Ew. I could... I can picture it right now, just doing that with some extra cheesy stones, looking like pizza, but it's literally rabbit drum. Ew, what is up with all this shit talk? I just realized this. When I was eight, I tried to prove to my friends that I was part horse, and so I ate a ton of grass to prove my point. 
I learned that day that you will throw up if you eat grass, especially a pet spot and sprayed on it, just like my dog. My dog used to do that a few times. And yes, I already know for the veterinarians that are watching this video and about to comment, you can comment still for other people. I already know dogs eat grass when their stomach hurt. But was there any other option you could have went with? You could have said me or something. You didn't have to eat grass in front of all. I ate an entire lipstick. <laughs> and cut my own fringe when my mom was on the phone to my auntie. What is fringe? And is that the, who took the picture? It was cold in our house, so I took a smoldering log out of the nearly dead fire in the, you know what? As kids, we need to stop fires, okay? And when I was in school, that bear that did the fire, who's that bear? You, you don't start fires in a forest or something. I don't, y'all know who I'm talking about. I don't even know the name, forest, Fumby, Gumby, what's the name? Not the dare one, similar to the dare dog. And I don't even know if they still do dare. But what was his name? Woke up because of smoke and promptly put it back. Threw away the half burned sheets and never told my parents I was 16 and really, really stupid. You know what? I'm gonna, after about nine tweets of me reading about kids start fires, let me confess a little something. I think I still have the scar to prove it, but I don't have to prove shit to y'all. But I'm just letting y'all know when I was a teenager, not a kid. When I was a teenager, I had to be like 12, I think. My parents went away. I think they went to the beach or something and I was alone. So I decided to start a fire. I don't know. I had put twigs on the little, it was cause it was in a fire pit. It was one of them homemade, you know, back alley boondocks kind of fire pits. I had put sticks on it and I had saw kerosene. So I decided to put it on because I know gasoline, you're not supposed to put gasoline on an open fire or whatever it's called. You're not supposed, you're not supposed to handle gasoline by yourself, especially as a teenager. So I thought kerosene was two totally different things. I decided to put it, put it on, put it on the twigs and light the fire and boom! That's all I remember. I don't know what happened next. All I remember is that the next time I saw a picture of me, I was with my parents at the beach, another day of course, and I had this big white bandage on and I don't think I told them. As a kid, I feel like we don't need to tell our parents because the parents, they would know. My parents were testing Christmas lights in the living room one year. Oh my gosh, please don't say there's a fire. Another fire. I like to pretend I was an animal so my seven year old ass comes belly crawling in. All I can think about is the grudge, I'm sorry. Glass in my mouth, <laughs> what? From biting the popes because I was being an alligator. <laughs> Good thing the lights were on. <laughs> I don't, y'all, I can't, I can't see. My brother was four and I was babysitting him. All of a sudden I hear a huge crash, screaming and crying. I rushed down the stairs and asked, what happened? He told me I tried to fly. <laughs> Said his moment of my life. <laughs> I remember reading something similar to that, not the one, not the two kids jumping up from <laughs> the, the, the roof with two grocery bags had like a parachute. I'm thinking about what was it? So oh, the umbrella, someone tried to, some kid tried to act like Mary Poppins. <laughs> Try to act like Mary Poppins <laughs> and jumped off. You already know what I'm trying to say, I'm sorry. <laughs> when I was four, I decided I needed some personal quiet space. Damn, at four, what the hell is going on in your life? You need some quiet space at four? Are we at preschool at four? I would ask Google, but I threw that bitch away a long time ago. Okay, left our summer cottage and settled myself in neighbors. I could everyone in a little town calling my name outside. Few hours later, the neighbor found me sleeping in their bed. Personal space was over for a long time. I'm telling y'all, what year was this? This had to be the same year when I was four walking around the neighborhood all free willy-nilly with my commando and my birthday suit. I'm I had a crush on this one girl in third grade and she told a kid scars 
are cool. So I stabbed myself with the pistol. I didn't get her attention. All I got was a Band-Aid and you probably still got that mark because we all know about the mechanical pistols because we still have that lead in our system and y'all know I'm not the only one. But while I'm here, I have to ask y'all, how old were you when you first had your first kiss and how old were you when you had the first crush? I was in third grade when I had my first crush and I was in seventh grade when I had my first kiss. All right, your turn. Did I I think I just plucked my thoughts. Good God. I used to sit in the dryer and read. I literally wouldn't let anyone use the dryer if I was in it. I already know this kid had siblings. Once it wasn't working and we had to go to a laundromat, I refused to let this old lady use the only free dryer because I was reading. <laughs> I was three. Now, I've seen a lot of shit in my life, but this is not one of them. I thought our goldfish had a headache because he was swimming to the glass, so I gave him aspirin and he died quickly after. Oh, my God. Oh, do y'all. So, I was watching this TikTok the other day, and apparently hamsters hibernate. A lot of people probably haven't seen my video of me talking about my hamster back in the day. But I had two hamsters. One ate their babies, and I, that, just when I forgot about that, yeah. But the other one was alone, and his name was Niblet. So what happened was I came in my room one day after school, and I saw Niblet like this, right? I buried him, allegedly. And now, more than a decade later, I hear that Niblet might have been in hibernation. My sister said my eyebrows were too wide, so I shaved half of them off. Took me months to grow back. When I was about five, I saw that a fish tank in my house was dirty, so I decided to give the fish a bubble bath. Oh my gosh, I'd rather have aspirin. I grabbed dish soap and doused the tank with nothing but good intentions. Instead, all I received was a fish tank that was still dirty and 15 dead fish. Yo, maybe that fi maybe those fish was in hibernation. You gotta watch what you tweet, all right? Seriously, y'all about, because not only the police, but PETA, Peter could be reading y'all shit. Last but not least, this kid shined a laser pointer in my eyes. I think I may have done that once, maybe twice. I don't know, it reminds me of probably the Men in Black thing where I did it and I forgot all about it, I don't know. But make sure you guys let me know what's the dumbest thing you did as kids and I will read them here, all right? Because I want to read more funny stuff. Yeah, that's it. All right, I'll see y'all with another video pretty soon. Bye. You feel me? Thumbs up if you don't. Thumbs up anyway, cause you will. Thumb, thumb, thumbs up. Cause you, cause you, cause you will. Thumb, thumb, thumbs up. <laughs> but with that being said, thumbs up. Thumbs up.